used to be. So I'd like to call the uh, the Historic Preservation Commission. Whoa. This obviously wasn't uh, Johnny Johnson's mic because it, from this morning's meeting where he had to gobble, gobble it up. Okay, so anyway, I'd like to call this meeting to order and uh, welcome those that are here and also recognize uh, Mayor Stix who is here. Um, so uh, meeting is called. Uh, could we get a, uh, Alex, are you doing our? Yes, sir. Our voice today? Yes, sir. Okay, could we get a roll call please, Alex? Sure. Combrey? Here. Akins? Here. McHatton? Here. Bisaccia? Not yet. We'll let you know when he arrives. Okay, thank you, Alex. If you could please stand and follow me in the Pledge of Allegiance, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Somebody complimented me the other night at the Tuesday meeting for knowing the pledge so well. I said I uh, umpired baseball for 20 years. The hardest part for me is to not to say play ball after we finish, so. Uh, okay, so public communications. Public communications is the time set aside during the Historic Preservation Commission meeting for members of the public to address the Historic Preservation Commission on items of city business other than scheduled agenda items. Matters raised at this time may be briefly discussed by the commission and will generally be referred to staff and or placed on subsequent agenda. Under state law, other than for emergency items, no action can be taken at this meeting. So next item up is a museum report. Uh, Wendy Barker um, pointed out that on our website, the, uh, the museum has been working with uh, the National Trust with the Gray Gables with, uh, uh, or the Gables, AARP, and uh, in putting together a booklet that was uh, passed out, uh, has been made available and is also on for sale. And so, um, that is just something that a new addition and new, and so what they've done also is if you go to the museum website, you'll see a whole new section there that in fact talks about those uh, individuals. Uh, this is all part of the funding that we received on a grant from these entities uh, that's been going on for several months. And the, the book is beautiful. Uh, it was done by uh, Craig Walker and Mark Lewis. Uh, also coming up on May 6th, we are back doing our feasting on history, art, and beautiful homes and having uh, special people, wonderful people who let us into their beautiful homes and not only do that, but they provide the meal for that night. And so uh, it's a, quite an opportunity. Uh, tickets are on sale for that now at the museum. So uh, what, a, what a wonderful uh, opportunity it is. Um, that's all I have for the museum. So consent items. First item under consent items is minutes of the November 10th, 2022 regular meeting. Uh, we, oh. go ahead. What did you decide about that? I looked back at the, um, your st staff actually looked back at the minutes from that meeting or the video and there were three members that night and they included Prebor, McHatton, and Aikens. And so two of the three were residents, and there were three residents as a whole on the um, commission, even though they, the full commission wasn't here that night. So the commission actually could have voted on this at the previous meeting. Um, it, so anyway, it's back on tonight. So Right, so but there's right. only two members that can approve it but there's only two members and so there's only two members and so that's what you're gonna that's have okay. to do yeah okay we don't, don't have I'm a not, choice. you know I looked at that I looked at the uh, the minutes I looked at the people that were were there on the November 10th meeting Aikens Convery and McHatton I looked at the people who were at our meeting on March and 
the same three people were there. And if there's three people there, they can mm -hmm. approve the, the minutes. The problem was pre-board, um, because there was that chunk of, of months where we didn't meet. Now, Jenny's not on as, our, as a commissioner anymore. Right. So there's not a um, majority of us to approve the minutes. It's only me and you, because Cindy was not at that last meeting. And that was the question, and that's why I got tabled. Oh, Cindy was not at the meeting in, that we in just November. had. Well, I'm looking at the, I'm looking at the minutes and the well, the minutes. So I'm okay. Okay, but looking at the minutes for March 9th, it no, says no, not March, November. November. Yeah, we're talking about the the November 10th minutes. Right. Okay. So looking at the November 10th minutes, it says that. Aikens, Convery, and McHatton were, and Prebor were present at that meeting. Oh, it says Correct. Okay, so change that. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, so there's a revision so, to those So, uh, in your mathematical thinking, which equation is not equal? Yes. So, so were, were Aikens, Convery, and McHatton, and Prebor at the meeting on the 10th? There. Oh, down there. Okay, I was looking for... Right. I'm on your up there okay yeah. so then those are the people who are on the roll call okay so then the roll call needs to be no no the roll call is correct they called my name I wasn't here well this says Doesn't it? on the call of roll oh, you're right. commissioners were present in person Aikens Convery McHatton and Prebor so what we're saying is Convery was so just absent make a change. Can make it exactly. So we need to delete Vice Chair Convery from the roll call notice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And with that change, I'll make a motion to approve those okay. minutes. Okay. Yeah. Once we, because I was going <laughs> back and forth on this at home. But other than that, are there any changes? Uh, any other changes then for November 10th? Not that. Okay. I so we have a motion to approve. Do we have a second? A second. Okay. Uh, roll call, please, Alex. Convery? Yes. Aikens? Yes. McHatton? Yes. Great. So, excuse me, tell me what page it is where the roll call is that you're wanting to eliminate one the, of the names. The first page of the November 10th minutes? Right up here, the roll call, and it says. Oh, okay. So we have um, Aikens, McHatton, and Prebor. Yeah, delete Convery. Convery is not there, and so then also Convery is not voting tonight to, um, to approve these minutes. Okay. So. Um, so Alex um, just called Convery's name. Should Thank you. Can we do it again? So I, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm hearing voices to my right. Let me explain this. The, um, the members of the HPC that, were, that are here now, we do have a majority that were, that were here at that time. The other members are no longer with the HPC. We need to vote these minutes. We have a majority in the room right now that were at that meeting and they can take a vote on these minutes and uh, we should take a revote and yes. um, with um, Alex we'll do a revote and he'll do the chair and McHatton and Convery will be abstaining. Alex? Aikens? Yes. McHatton? Yes. Great. Thank you all. Thank you. Okay so that's uh, first item. Uh, the next item is the minutes for our last month's meeting, March 9th. Uh, do we see any? I highlighted those two just to make sure everybody. Um, do we have any adjustments to the meeting, uh, minutes for March 9th? I don't have any changes. I don't have any changes. Okay, do we have a motion to approve then? Yes, I make a motion to approve the minutes March 9th. Okay, can, I, second. can I second it? Okay. Uh, Alex, roll call please for all three of us this time. McCat? Yes. Convery? Yes. Aikens? Yes. Thank you, Alex. Okay. Where are we? We are now. Let's see. Discussion item number three, uh, proposed local downtown historic district ad hoc committee progress report. Uh, Commissioner McCann, could you report for us, please? Uh, we, um, our ad hoc met a couple of times in the last month, uh, most recently yesterday, 
and uh, we worked on dividing up different um, jobs for uh, different members of our commission, our, our ad hoc, and we're just um, working. So there's really nothing to report at this point. Great, thank you. Um, yeah, we, we through the whole process, we've been looking at what we did last year, what we're doing this year, and evaluating uh, lessons learned and also new information that's come together in that time and uh, making changes that will eventually come before the uh, HBC before they're uh, uh, moved on. So any questions for Commissioner McCadden? Mm -mm. Okay, great. Thank you. Okay. That Let's see, we, we did not do public communications at the beginning. Oops. I don't think there are any. Let me ask. I'm supposed to ask. Uh, I don't have any blue papers. Alex, do you have anybody in, um, in the web for, or what's it called? Um, Zoom for public communications? No. Okay. Have we, um, have we bypassed um, public uh, communications on these individuals? How do we determine that? The fact that I zoomed right ahead. Was that all we needed public communications on? Was nothing on the agendas? Okay, so let's go to, but uh, Historic Preservation Commission, I think we should uh, see if there are public comments on that, whether they're here or online. Oh, on the downtown? On the downtown historic district. Do you have any little cards? I do not have any cards. Alex, do we have anybody in the uh, waiting room to speak on item number three? No, ma'am, no. Okay, great, thank you. Okay, moving along. Back to the beginning. I just can't. Okay, uh, item number four is future agenda items. And um, the future agenda items are listed on, on item number four. And you can see that they are uh, down at the bottom of the page. There's uh, two sections, one talking about uh, going back to August 8th, 2019. Those are items that have been there since August 8th, 2019. The other are the items uh, that were um, mentioned in the March 9th, 2023 HPC meeting. And so Mara has uh, gone through and listed them for us. Um, so my question is, um, are these items that we want to uh, carry forward and items, do we have a priority? I think those were the things we talked about. Yes, Mara. So what I was hoping to do is um, just kind of take over. <laughs> and All yours. <laughs> and I, I was waiting for you to take <laughs> over on the, uh, plant, the next one, but well, there, this was, one's yours too. Okay. I was going to talk about these and then go into a like, planning report kind of thing. Okay. Um, so the future agenda items are listed, as you said, under um, item number four in your packets. And they're listed there just as kind of a, a fact that's presented to you, not um, as an item for you to discuss this evening. What, what I would like to do, um, what I plan to do, is put this as an agenda item at your next meeting, not the items necessarily, but the fact that there are, um, give you an opportunity to talk about the items that you, I mean, I'm gonna back up a little bit. I will present these items in a staff report, but it'll be an item on the agenda to give you guys an opportunity to talk about what it is that you wanna take forward to the city council. And so you can discuss them, add items, remove items, prioritize items, um, and then I'll say it again at the next meeting, but you'll want to also keep in mind that taking eight items to a city council meeting is really not realistic. You're gonna be able to talk, discuss with them probably one or two. Um, so you'll prioritize them. Um, and then kind of going into, if it's okay with you, into what's still number four, the planning report, is um, just to let you know that if there's ever any items, whether it's these items or other items, 
they, you have a couple different opportunities as to how to get them to the city council. One is to put them on your priority list to take to, um, to them for your joint meeting and re request that they be put on a work program. Um, and the other is to go to the council and speak during public comments. Um, if, if all of the commissioners are in favor of an item, then you would talk about that and then the chair you know, could go and present that during, I'm repeating myself now, but public comments at the city council. Um, so that's, that's really what I have to say regarding future agenda items. Other than those future agenda items and the fact that I'll put them all into one and for you to, for the next agenda, we don't have any actual projects for the HPC at this time. Okay, okay. Um, so you as a, uh, as a part of uh, item number four, no, I, as a part of planning report, are gonna discuss the fir first item that's on this list. Right, so so now I, if, I, if it's okay with you that I'd like to go into that. Uh, yeah. Do we, do oh, we okay. wanna put a priority to this before we? I have a comment the, about the process before we move forward, which okay. is yes. we missed three or four meetings because there was some discrepancy as to why we couldn't meet, and I still disagree with the resident, non-resident issue. So we are very limited. We meet once a month, and so what do we get, six meetings this year or something? And now we're having a discussion about adding a discussion item to discuss the discussion. That's what I just understood, <laughs> um, which I think is frankly bizarre. I Last meeting, I requested that we have a discussion item to talk about Matillaha, to discuss it, not to take action, not to go to the city council, to just exchange information, which I would have prepared for had it been added to the agenda. It wasn't. Last year, I asked for something to be added to the agenda, and it took I don't know, four or five months. I don't even remember what the issue was. And so when you have seven meetings a month, a year, that's pretty limiting on what you can talk about. Um, I'm looking here, August 2019, there are two issues that we wanted, and that's four years ago, and we still don't have them on the agenda. I mean, this is very um, Brazil, you know, the movie. <laughs> it's just doesn't make any sense. So I would really like to be able to add a discussion item to the agenda within a month, like talking about Matillaha or talking about the possibility of restoring this room, you know, stuff that's not going to cause a riot in the streets yes. and see how we can just at least have a conversation about these things without you know, spending months and months to get there. Yeah, I, I agree with that. I'm looking at this list going, update the city walking tour. It should not be, council should not be bothered about that until the changes are made and then have them look at it. <laughs> Same with preparing and sending a letter to local schools um, to about our jail. It's informational. It just doesn't, it, it doesn't seem like, especially, um, you know, we, if, if you watch all the council meetings like I do, you know how long it takes an item that seems like it would go quickly. Gina, it takes a really long recall, time. recall, when we did the original walking tour, it had nothing to do with city council. Exactly. We made the thing, it went to the press, and now it's in the lobby. It's not a council item. It's a historic so the, the, thing. So the, the commission um, can't direct staff to work on projects, but they can request that the city council then direct staff to work on projects we did and they it. put there on no a work program. There was no staff working on it. Okay. Well, Wait, so l let me call a timeout just here, just as, so you know. The uh, update, the city walking tour has been completed when I handed the sheet to, to Mara. Mm -hmm. So we have, n that. that's done, okay? okay? That was handled, but that didn't. We originally brought it before the commission to get the approval to make adjustments to bring it up to date. Once the commission took that vote, then we took the responsibility and, and it did and it's done and that's what okay. I just just handed uh, Mara, just so we know that be that one, well. It's done. It, it, that, that isn't actually done yet. It was handed to me today and it was such a small item that, um, that I contacted the chair after the last meeting and, and we discussed it on the phone and I said, you know, it's such a small item. Let me just take care of that. Um, and it's going to take, you know, literally three minutes of an admin 
mm -hmm. person's time. Mm -hmm. so, um, so we felt that that was appropriate. And thank you for bringing that in today, Brian. You're welcome. And I'll uh, send it to you via email once, it's, um, once these two sentences are revised. Great, great. So all of the things are on here that were talked about the last meeting, that was uh, that step was taken and uh, turned over tomorrow. Right, and so at the next meeting, um, you can discuss the items that are here and if you want to add or not add or, you know, to um, subtract, and you can get your priority list together of what you want to take to the city council. I don't want for to have then. another meeting where we make a list to put uh, things that, 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 that is, that's, that, We that's, don't have time. So that's going to happen at the next meeting. Um, so the other things that I wanted to talk about tonight, I really was, wish that him. Commissioner Basasha was here because um, it was kind of for his benefit. Um, I wanted to just, he had a question as to when he was going to receive information about a meeting before the actual meeting. And so I wanted to let him know that it's specifically uh, within 72 hours, but we always or generally get the packet to you the Friday before the Thursday meeting. Um, and I wanted to also tell him, because he's new, and just remind all of the commissioners that if there's ever a question about anything that's on an agenda after you receive it, to please contact staff. Um, I'm usually that person. Uh, however, if I'm not, I can direct you to somebody else. You can start with me. Um, and I also wanted to let you know that, I'm sure you know though, um, and the chair was at the city council meeting on Tuesday, that the uh, city council um, um, approved vote for this HPC to go from five to some seven members, and they're going to be an ordinance will amendment will have to go back before them in order to um, make those changes to the ordinance, and then it and then it can the process can get started as to how and when that will be done. Um, but the HPC has been approved to go from five to seven members. Um, and I think that is all I had under, st under planning reports. Okay, so uh, just an update on the, uh, on the we, we, even with the five members that we uh, have been existent for it, uh, we're still missing. Uh, we have one more th to be nominated. I talked to Councilman Whitman about three o'clock today, and so he he says he is working on it, and that he will um, endeavor to get it done quickly. So that was what he passed on to me because I called him and asked him if he could give me an update that I could share at the meeting today, and and that's what he said. Um, so, okay. So my question is, because we can't really meet outside of this chamber because, I mean, Brown Act and everything. So like Cindy said, we meet here in just once a month. What I was under the impression, at least historically being on this commission, is we would have items that we discussed. No action items were taken. Once an action All item... Right, we've always done. Yeah, once an action item was going to... That's when it's like, okay, now we need counsel, now we need to bring it to counsel. But it's just talking about stuff, it's trying to... It's that, that's a discussion just seems, item. Yeah, as a discussion item. Uh, not an action item. Yeah. Why can't we put that on there without bothering city council about it? It just doesn't make sense. Well, we've always been able to do that, so right. I don't know why everything changed. Do you know if something is, is different, Mayor? No, no. Uh, hang on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, I just was um, wondering. This isn't something that we need to talk to the mayor about right now. Okay. okay? This this is something. So. Uh, I mean, I understand there's a bit of frustration, but there's these things that are coming forward and we're trying to get, part of the reason that they're listed is the fact that we're trying to get some priority on them, okay? Mm -hmm. So they were ideas that were brought up in the previous meeting, and, and there's a whole slew of them, and some of them that have been here for quite a while, but again, the, it comes down to the priority. Uh, um, uh, Cindy, you mentioned the August 8, 2019, pre-COVID. Uh, these items have, again, the historic structures, the merit list, uh, have been done uh, twice. They've been sent to the council. The council has not. They have received the report, but no action has been taken on that. Uh, there's no indication that this is a priority in, in their mind. 
even though it might be a priority to us to get it in place because it, the historic structures of merit are referenced into the code. Okay. But that's why it's sitting there because we've had mm -hmm. other things that we felt were, were more important. Uh, quarterly reach out discussions is kind of goes, I think, in line with the prepare and send letters to local schools, alerting them of the opportunity to open the jail. Uh, again, so in, in talking with Mara last Friday, this is a list that she, she had been building. For us, to me, it's what is the priority of the, count of the commission members for addressing these going forward. Okay, but I have a question, Brian. Yes. Um, there's not a whole, I don't see this as a whole slew of things because there are five items here, not, you know, we're not talking about the 19th, 2019, I'm sorry. Modifying HBC five to seven members, done. done. Update the city tour, done. Okay, so last month I requested that we have a discussion only, no action, about Matillaha and about the council chambers. There's absolutely nothing on our agenda. If we weren't talking now, we'd already be done. We'd be gone. You know, we have like a whole hour, at least, where we could be talking about ways to maybe raise a little, you know, fund to get new curtains or something, not the city budget. But we're not allowed to do that because it's not on the agenda as a discussion item, no action. Um, Why is that? So, uh, so discussion items are action items. No action can be taken for an item unless it is on the discussion, I listed as a discussion item. Let's say that again. So discussion <laughs> items are the action item. We don't vote on it, we discuss it. And then we decide if we want to move forward. So, do you mind if I? No, go right ahead. So it was um, staff's understanding after the last meeting that these were items that didn't need the type of discussion that I'm hearing that you want tonight. My understanding was that these are items that you, you these are things you want to do and they were going to be items that you're going to ask, excuse me, that you're going to ask city council to get staff to move forward on. And I'm going to just jump down to the last one because it seems to be the least controversial, and that is writing a letter to local schools. It didn't seem like that that's something that the four of you were going to discuss and decide whether or not, yes, we want definitely this to be done. It was my impression that that's something you want to do, done. So therefore, it's something that has to go to the council to have council direct staff to do. Staff is not going to do that, cannot do that without council saying so. The same thing with Matilha Junior High School for landmarking. Um, instead of saying staff, I'll just say me because I'm your staff. And I was under the impression that you want Matilha Junior High School uh, to be considered as a landmark. No, we need so, to find out if it can be discuss considered and that's a discussion. That's what I said in the meeting okay. last time. You know, it, it, I, it's really I, I, it doesn't need to be, um, this doesn't need to be um, adversary. Uh, I really prefer that it's not. And the understanding is it's something that, I mean, if it's gonna take, if you, if you want to decide as a commission whether or not you're gonna, the research is gonna be done as to whether or not this can be made a landmark, Staff cannot be directed to do that work without it going to the council. If you're gonna do that work on as a commission, then you can create ad, an ad hoc committee to go and do that. Don't we have to have a discussion about it though? So. <laughs> I mean, we have to be able to talk about it. Okay, so clear, what, what, what I'm saying though is that clearly I'm mistaken yeah. about what happened at the last meeting. So, um, it's not a, on, it's, and in, therefore it's not on the agenda as a discussion item because I misunderstood you. Okay, so uh, uh, good point. So again, um, item, item number five, one, two, three, four, five, prepare and send letters to local schools. Do we have a commissioner that wants to take on that responsibility and bring it back to the next meeting? Okay, so that is That's, part of the quarterly outreach that I had suggested back in 2019. What I wanted was a chance to, to talk to the commissioners and have us use our um, collective brains to sit there and say, 
what are the best ways we can reach out to the schools? What are the best ways we can teach the next generation about um, our town and our history and our and preservation? And one of them was the jail, because we happen to be talking about the jail because we just had that jail initiative. Um, but it's, it's a brain conversation of what do you think would be best? You know, how can we let our kids know the history that, that we have here? And then everybody bring their knowledge to it. Then we decide, well, maybe writing a letter to the local schools would be a good idea. And then that is what we assign a commissioner to lead off on. But it's the quarterly outreach that I was saying, like, what can we do four times a year instead of just this jail one time a year? If four times a year we did something that let the community know how awesome this place is that we all share, um, it would be really nice. But it's, it's the infi infantile, like just taking it back to just us just talking. So I'd like how to go back that? to something I said at the beginning of talking about um, in the planning report, and that is if the commissioners, any of you, have any questions about what's on the agenda prior to the meeting, please talk to me about it before the meeting. So then when we come to the meeting, perhaps there can be a really clear um, response from staff and how we move forward. Um, at this time, we have future agenda items, and I've told you what will be on the next agenda. Thanks. Right. So is there something less than a discussion item? So this is something I'm going to come back to you with at the next meeting. Great. Thank you. <laughs> so we're not allowed to request a discussion item for our next meeting right now in this meeting. You know what? I've written it down that you want to have this, these as discussion items for the last la for the next meeting and and I'm going to go back and and see what to do for the next agenda. Okay, thanks. I'm confused because I did speak with Brian prior to his meeting with you and asked that Matilla Hub be a discussion item in this meeting, and yet it's He can't change the agenda, though, after no, it's gone out? this was 10 days ago or something. It was before okay. the agenda. I, th I believe so. I have a text. I can look at the date. But I'm just saying, you know, it's, it's very frustrating when we have such a limited amount of time, and we have three, whatever, we haven't met since, I mean, there was a meeting in November, but then it's, it's just not... <laughs> It's not a great use of the city's resources and the, the entire commission to limit the agenda the way it was limited tonight. Okay, well, uh, that's, uh, I'm the one that uh, works with Mara to set the agenda. So I'm, what I'm trying to do, again, is find the items that are a priority to us and, and set those as something, because I have an item that I want to talk about um, tonight that and I'm going to do it as a part of commissioner comments and suggest that that be on the agenda for next week okay. or the next meeting. Okay. So, so. I, again, going back to, so item number one on here is done. Review Matilla Junior High School for landmarking. We would like to, uh, sorry on the discussion item, but you were, um, so we would like to have the opportunity just to talk about that and see whether we think there's a purpose to go forward. Mm -hmm. And if we think that there's a purpose to go forward, then we would make the council aware of our desire to do that and, as Mara said, get the okay from the council in order to do that. That is similar to what we did when we went to the Nordoff Grammar School in landmarking that. Uh, I knew what the process was. We made a presentation to the, to the council in doing that, got the okay from the council to go ahead and to pursue that. Uh, there wasn't a lot of work on the council's part until we got to the very end. I went to every community meeting there was, every council meeting, every school board meeting. Uh, the, so again, the council and the staff were not involved in that through that process until we got down to the very end. Mm -hmm. But again, we had gotten approval from the, from the council. So it wasn't something that we were doing in secret without right. So them. this item will be on the next agenda in a, when you will have an opportunity to discuss whether or not you want to move forward with it to the city council. Yeah, that, that's what we'd like to do. And I apologize that it's not on this meeting. Well, and you know what? Even, even if you had discussed that with me the way you just presented it now, um, this is how the Community Development Department decided to put this agenda together and decided to put all of the items that may or may not go forward to council from you 
we decided to put all of them on the next agenda. Yes. And so it's yes. possible. So it was a conscious decision to put all of these items for discussion at one time as to whether or not they'll go forward with, to council on the next agenda. And yes, and that's what we talked about last week. And I thank you for getting our shopping list together, like items l like the uh, um, updating the council chamber. I mean, that's a thing that should go before the budget committee. The budget committee is currently meeting. That's really something that's something that the mayor's looking around going, what are they thinking? <laughs> but so the, as, as took place in the, in the budget committee meeting today, uh, a, a good discussion, that is something that should be driven by the... Yeah. Okay, but that's why it needs to be a discussion, Brian, because I disagree with that. I know there are programs that provide restoration services for buildings like this at no cost. There's restoration hardware, which would furnish the place in exchange for film shooting their catalog. You know, there's all kinds of opportunities to do it outside of the city budget, and that's what I'd like to discuss. Okay. Well, again, it, it's up to, you know? up to us to yeah. make a recommendation okay. to the council. Okay. I don't think we need, because that's just a recommendation and it's our time, that's a thing like Mara said. We make a recommendation, uh, something that the council may want to address, and then that it would come back to us to, to be able to use that. Yeah. Not a lot of staff time. No, but we would have to look into all those opportunities. Which we're so happy that, to yeah, do. Yeah, so that it doesn't just go to council and they just see dollar signs. You yeah, know? yeah. And, and again, it's something right. that we can do, yeah. and we're happy to do because it's not only beneficiary to everybody, but it's uh, enlightening and educational for, for me. Some of us go to courses all the time. Yeah, I, <laughs> Some of I'm, us know. <laughs> and, I, and I'm running into so many different grants right now and grant programs. And yeah, I would, um, so it, you know about grants and programs, correct? Yeah. So if I wanted to have a separate ad hoc with you. We'd have to have an ad hoc committee. We'd have to have a discussion about it then have an ad hoc committee to discover how to make it, move it forward outside of the budget in a, you know, approved way. And then when the, all that's done, <laughs> all the work's done, the city council gets a report, oh, so simple, and then you can move forward. But, okay, Brian, I'm sorry, we can't, I'm sorry, yes. but we can't, we can't discuss this now. <laughs> Oh, yeah. They're, yeah. they're going into too much of a discussion yeah, about it. We can't I mean. do that. Okay, I was just wondering if we could, the ad, if we wanted to have an ad hoc, right. we have to ask. That could be on a future agenda. The questions on the process. But okay. yeah, that's the why it should be a discussion item because it's Good. a discussion. Okay, so uh, walking tour has been handled outside of it. We got the initial approval from the council. Um, and then prepare uh, and send letters to local schools alerting them to the opportunity to, uh, to open the Ojai Jail for school visits. Now, uh, several of the meetings that we ha didn't hold uh, since December were, uh, we did not hold because there were items, there were uh, not enough to talk about items. That was the December, me or the December meeting. We, last time we met was November. Um, the J January meeting, we didn't meet because we weren't sure, again, what was gonna take place with the city council, and so, there was no way that preparation in Mara's time could be used to, to, in order to enable us to, you know, get going once the decision was made. Again, we had no idea what was going on. So that was, meeting was canceled because that was the only item. Uh, then we got hit with the, with the other item that we've talked to about, and, and now we're going, we're functioning again. Um, so again, my question is, so we've gotten the report on the HPC, um, the, and I asked Mara this, we made a recommendation, it shows up in our minutes on uh, what our recommendation would be to council. Uh, the council now has, as Mara pointed out, they have made the decision that the uh, HPC and the parks and rec uh, are allowed to go to seven, and the arts commission, who's by the way canceled their next meeting, so it's gonna, um, is and planning planning commission is a firm five and the arts commission is kind of waiting until they get enough people and the cor correct people 
to make a decision on that. But the Parks and Rec Commission were given uh, the opportunity, and the HBC were given the opportunity to go to seven. How that is done is is being handled by staff and by the council. Mm -hmm. uh, it's at their level. We made a recommendation at our last meeting for for a change to the code. Uh, in talking with Mara, uh, the understanding was that that information would then be relayed to the council that can be part of their deliberation. Mm -hmm. Does that sound that correct, Mara? Yeah. Okay. Okay, can I speak? So I would like to ask that in our priorities that the um, historic structures of merit be a top priority that goes to council, mainly because so you can it's, discuss that at the next meeting when you talk about the items that are going to go forward? Yes, I would like, Okay, but you, we're supposed to make a priority list? So that's at a priority. The next, at the next meeting, you'll make, at the next meeting, you're going to make a priority list. You're going to take. Oh, so this is just kind of a thought and then. Yeah, the items, the items that, um, that are here on in section four are items that I'm going to list in the staff report for the next meeting when you're going to discuss which items are a priority to take forward to the council. Got it. Okay, and, and so, so so as a part of that discussion on on determining which items we're going to take to council, then we can have the, that discussion. Uh, we're not taking. Uh, are we going? Would we be taking any action in? There won't be an action. Um, it chair. will purely it's more, be, uh, be. You're going to discuss the items and dis talking. and discuss what it's going to take and is it a priority and what is it what do you mean and okay so so we would discuss the items and once we have that discussion amongst ourselves then we would decide whether we feel after that discussion to move it forward but we would still have a discussion on those items in the next meeting yes and you'll also then at the end have an agreement as to which items are the priority items which yes which items we think should go before council right and then they will go in your joint meeting Okay, so Unless we'll, you we'll take a pause real quick and talk about the joint meeting. So the joint meeting, because Mara and I talked about that, and then the liaison report came out. And in that liaison report that we just got showing who, was, who are the liaisons for the different commissions for this quarter, like Mayor Sticks is our liaison for the, uh, ne this meeting in the next two months. Um, but also in that was a tentative uh, calendar on when the joint meetings will be held and unfortunately in that calendar it showed that the um, HPC's joint meeting would be held in I think February or March and right, so that boat sailed so so that calendar isn't part of our agenda tonight for like l l legally for the public so we're not going to talk about that calendar um, I, I'm, we just you just can't okay it's uh, okay. not on the agenda but I want to tell you that we don't have a date yet for that joint meeting um, we have a date coming but the different commissions are all going to be meeting I believe all going to be meeting having their joint meetings with the council and so far the uh, Planning Commission is the next plan next uh, City Council meeting and then you know it's so the HPC has joint meeting has not been scheduled yet okay. but um, and I don't have a date for you. Okay, so the document that was sent to me by the city is advisory only on when we will have our I don't have joint that. meeting. We, we don't have that here tonight to talk about. So I, I can just tell you that the meeting has not been scheduled yet for 2023 or. Okay. okay. Can, I'll take that as a yes. Can I ask a um, request? Can it say quarterly community outreach discussions like? preparing and sending letters to local could, so we could combine that into one sure a quarterly reach out discussions quarterly community outreach discussions. quarterly community yeah outreach discussions um, like or preparing including and sending letter da 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 so it's like combined into one because okay okay so it seems like there are two items then that we would like to discuss um, at the next meeting, determining then based on that discussion on whether we want to take it forward to the city council. And those two items are the review of the Matilla Junior High School for landmarking and the item, the combined item that uh, Gina just told us. That would be the quarterly 
um, community uh, reach out discussions? Yeah, the reach out. What Are about what about the, um, the what about document. discussing the budget to rehabilitate the council chambers? Why don't we call it options instead of budget? Let's discuss options to rehabilitate the council chambers. Yeah, the, and the only reason budget um, budget sticks in my brain because again I was enjoying numbers out the wazoo this morning well, with uh, Mayor Sticks and the others, and so. And that's the language from the last meeting, so that that's why it's here. But yeah, that's the, yeah, that's no, I understand that. It's just if you're talking about anything that affects the budget and you're right in the middle middle of budgeting, I'm just not one for waiting until after you've made a decision because yeah, I think that's it's a, like it's options. So we need to look okay. at what the options are. Okay. So we have the quarterly community reach out uh, discussions, including including meaning it could be inclusive. You know, uh, there could be other items on there as well or other um, right. topics. So, so that word, um, in, including preparing and uh, sending a letter to local, okay, that one, and then um, the Matilla Junior High School and the options to rehabilitate city council. And what about um, something that, that's already here from 2019, the historic structures of merit? Yes. Okay, so we have uh, those four items. And then again, it's gonna be on the agenda, and so if you wanna add something on there, um, on that list, or, or if between now and then, when you get to the next agenda, and you see the staff report, and you see these four items, and you wanna remove one of them, that's something else that you can discuss at the meeting. Okay, well, I have something that I'd like to see that's uh, oh, right. fa fairly important on the next item. So the fact that we're thinking we're going to get four things done in the next meeting is uh, I, I would like to look at postponing a couple of these until the meeting following the next meeting. So I can put them all in the staff report for items that you want to discuss to take forward and we to can just council postpone them. and you can... Right, you can, pri you can prioritize them as ones that you want to discuss. Okay. And then we can just keep them moving forward. And I think before the meeting you did mention one to me, so if you want me to add that into the staff report. I'm going to give it to you just as soon as we get to commissioner comments. Excellent. Is, is there a way that um, we can postpone the outreach? That's not like priority. It's mostly for the next school year anyway or... Um, but I would just like to ask that the commissioners just think of ideas so they, they come with um, some ideas to share of how we can reach out to the community. We're going to get Rick's construction equipment and nail him to the floor and make him watch this meeting so he's prepared for next meeting. Okay. Sounds really scary. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't recognize Rick's truck if I knew it. Okay. Um, okay. Are, are we good to move ahead then on so. on these items? I, again, thank you, Mara, for, for listing them for us. Um, okay. Where are we, we are we we have done planning. Planning. Uh, so now we're on commissioner com comments. So I have a commissioner comment. Uh, this is something that's come up uh, Recently, it came up uh, probably about a month ago that uh, the city received a request for someone. Unfortunately, uh, the mayor has to leave, so I'll uh, represent her. So we, uh, the city received a request for um, a proclamation to be made to uh, Harry Hunt Sr. Uh, Harry Hunt was a constable. Uh, for the city of Ojai. He, he and his family moved here. Um, he had been in the military, many ser uh, both two services of the military. He had received uh, significant um, recommendations uh, for that. Yeah, his, the family moved here. He worked for uh, Shell Oil, and at Shell Oil, he, he was right-handed. Ha at Shell Oil, he lost his right, right arm. Um, in figuring out what to do, he had a couple things that he was very skilled at. One was his marksmanship was, even with the one arm, was uh, award-winning. And his strength by one arm was legendary. 
uh, he applied, because of the background he had, he applied to be a constable for the city of Ojai. Uh, this is back in, uh, I think, a 1920s range. And, uh, and so, uh, by the way, I was looking in the history book, there are, were two Harry Hunts, but this is the Harry Hunt that was the constable, not the Harry Hunt that was, uh, ran the livery service. And so he, he became the constable, was a constable for, for many years, uh, gained quite a reputation, uh, and uh, eventually uh, something uh, I liked be that he, uh, one of the, and so, so the city worked uh, uh, with um, Harry Hunt and his daughter, and a commendation was prepared by the city and given to him, I think, on the 27th, for, given to his son on the 27th, Harry Hunt Jr., who turned 90. And so, and that was a rec, uh, so that was, uh, that was given. I've, uh, the mayor said I could uh, get a copy of that so I know what they say, what they said. And then also in that time was a recommendation uh, from, the recommendation was coming from uh, Sarah, let's see, I have Sarah's name on here. Sarah Cowan, so uh, Sarah Cowan is a producer for uh, ABC Channel 10 News in San Diego and works with uh, Harry Hunt's daughter. Uh, one of the things the museum does is we're always looking for oral histories to do. We've done 40-something, uh, in case people are wondering. Uh, Joyce Robinson, who you may know, has done 30-something of those, and so we sat down with uh, Harry Hunt Jr., and uh, he wanted, and so we got a, a briefing on his father, and and had a great time. One of the things that they uh, suggested or asked uh, to see if we would be willing to do it, and I talked to uh, Sarah uh, Cowan two days ago, uh, was to uh, name the uh, Ojai Jail uh, for Harry Hunt. Um, one of the more interesting things, and I may have shared, shared this that came out of the interview with uh, Harry Hunt Jr., uh, was the fact that Harry Hunt Sr. would take the two boys, he and his brother, when he was busy, and he would take them over to the jail. He would say, okay, amuse yourself, we'll be back in two hours, lock the door, and then come back <laughs> later. So that was a new, new, new fundraising for the commission is child care, in case we're you know, trying to earn money. I said, you know, we're, we're at the jail. People are asking us, so what was this used for? I said, okay, babysitting is another thing that we can add. So, so again, she, she made that recommendation. I have uh, information uh, that talks about Harry Hunt uh, that he provided for me and also that was in the newspaper. So uh, there was a, uh, someone who escaped from prison. He ended up, was actually hiding out in the Camp Comfort area and then migrated up in the Upper Ojai uh, and was uh, abusing the women, the, that residence up there, and raping the residents. And so uh, he was uh, known to be in the Steckel Park area. I was just coming back from uh, Pasadena a week ago, had my grandkids, and we stopped there with the grandkids. So if you have grandkids, they loved it, best part of the trip. Um, and he was in that area. Harry went uh, with them, with the posse. He went after him. Uh, this person, uh, to get away from Harry, uh, jumped down one of the steep banks of the river thinking Harry wouldn't follow him. But Harry, being what Harry does, jumped off and went down. As he was going down, the guy he was pursuing turned and shot Harry in the leg. As Harry was going down, then he turned and shot the person that had been doing all of these things. Uh, Harry survived, I think, another three weeks, but Harry is the only individual, only Ojai constable who has died in the line of duty. And he, he was chasing him with one arm. He was chasing him with one arm. <laughs> wow. It, it, it is. But did the guy die? The guy did die. Holy cow. That's a great story. It, wow. it is. Right. It, well, I, I want to get this right. He's pursuing the guy. Yes. Yes. Harry follows him. Yes. And as they're going down, he shoots the guy. No, yes. The guy shot him. Oh, the guy shot him well, first. Well, the guy shot him first in the leg, and then Harry shot him. Wow. That was, he was going down. 
Yes, remember he was right-handed, and that's the one that he lost. No, well, Harry died about three weeks later, I think. He died. I, I th you know, some kind of poisoning or something. The days. They didn't have penicillin, I don't even think. Yeah. Um, and, and, I mean, there are all these stories. Um, some guy was mouthing off or something and wouldn't get out of the car, and Harry reached in through the window, grabbed him by the arm, pulled him out of the car, and then stood him up to where he couldn't even reach his tiptoes. His arm was that strong. <laughs> And waited for the authority. And so, uh, so this is something that I, I'd like us to have on the agenda at the next meeting. What, what do we? What do you want? Do to, you want to, na to name uh, the OI jail to oh the Harry Hunt, Her Harry jail. Hunt jail. Right on. And I I, me I mentioned it during one of the breaks on Tuesday night. I mentioned it to yeah. the uh, to the mayor because of course she was the one who gave the proclamation to yeah. the family. They had a large family wow. that came out. I think they went out to uh, to the park, and she thought. Wow. Um, Next time you're at the jail and your jail stripes, you need to have one arm tied down and have an empty sleeve. I'll put it behind my back. Yeah. <laughs> so um, you can be hairy on. So uh, if, it, if it's okay uh, with uh, council members, I would like to have that uh, as a discussion item. Yeah, in our, we don't even need to discuss week. it. You already and, dis <laughs> told well, us. And I, I have a three-page, uh, oh. and then I have copies of the newspaper article nice. that was in. Um, Yeah, it's 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 only briefly casually mentioned because I looked that up today uh, that he was a constable and that he was doing this, yeah. and that was where I also found out because that, that there were two Harry Hunts. There was Harry Hunt that did the livery, you know, the stagecoaches and and everything, and then there was Harry Hunt the constable, mm -hmm. and it put it put quite. He talks about the damage that did or the harm that did on their family because there was no support at that time. Mm -hmm. So immediately he, he and his daughter, being like nine or 12 at the time, mm -hmm. got um, newspaper routes for the Ventura wow. Star. What year was he killed? Um, so the, um, the items that you have there, if you want to give them to staff after the meeting, yes. then um, you said over there were three pages, but it looks like a whole lot more than that. Well, we could put it in the- There's um, two news and th three of the Okay, since it's, since it's not on, the, what, what I'd like to do is put it in the next agenda for since it's going to be part of the, discuss, the uh, items for discussion next time. And then if it ends up being one of the items that you want to pop to another meeting, it can just continue to follow through the, um, the agendas in the future. Okay, I just would like the information to get out to the uh, commission so that they can prepare for that time. Okay. Um, you know what? There's been a whole lot of discussion about a discussion item that's going on the next meeting, and <laughs> yeah. I didn't want to stop you. It was a fantastic story, uh -huh. but we're not discussing it tonight because it's not on the agenda. It was something that you just want to let everyone know. Right. I'm if just you're, If you wanted to hand copies out to people tonight, then I'm going to excuse myself, and I'm going to make copies and put them out at the podium. Okay. You can't have... An, well, I've made extra have, copies, too. You cannot have paperwork come out at a meeting that wasn't put, put, posted on the agenda. It's against the Brown Act. Mm -hmm. Oh, Okay. Can't can't do it. Okay. Okay. So, do you have enough copies to go with everyone in the room and out in the hallway? Or right can now? I? So, typically, when we've had information that we wanted to get out to the to the commissioners, that information has gone to the city and then from the city out to the commissioners. Okay, that's what I would do. I would put it in the next agenda, or there might be a blind copy um, email. But as far as bringing it out here in the meeting right now, it's not agendized. True. But it did make copies for people that showed up, so. Okay. Okay, we'll figure it out. And you two, if you want it, aren't part of this commission, so I'm thinking maybe I can. So anyway, okay, that's what I had for. That was we'll, fun. We'll make it. That we'll was figure fun. It out. That was a, yeah, yeah, that sounds. was very fun. So another have a commissioner comment. Yes. Yes. I mean, I know some of our meetings are um, weighty and, and we have a lot of decisions to make, but it, it, I love this at the end, like an informational item that we talked about a property or a history or a living, you know, just um, we need to bring the history of Ojai to life in any way we can. And that was, I mean, that was definitely one way to do it is, you know, it'd be nice to, to somehow incorporate that into part of something where we got to learn about somebody or something. 
Fun fact. Fun facts. Informational fun facts. Right? No, fun, <laughs> seriously, fun fact at the end of the agenda, or like the last item on the agenda. It, I mean, you know, I hate to be so, st I hate to be the liaison and be so strict, but, you know, let me know in advance. I'll put it on the agenda. It'll be in your packet, and then, um, and then give the fun fact. Yeah. Well, how awesome is if that? If we have one, I mean, you don't have to do it. Or, Sarah, but. Sarah, who, hope you're watching, Sarah, um, called me two days ago, so. Fantastic. All right. Thank you, Brian. Okay. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, Gina and her daughter did the same thing. Uh, I used to come to the, uh, sit in, in the audience so I could listen to David Mason, uh, Pat Clark, Dorner, Terry Hill, and uh, all the others tell stories during uh, HPC. And that's what, why I was the lonely person out there. <laughs> okay. Anything else? Anything else? Nope, thank you. Nope? Okay. We ready to adjourn then? Okay. We're adjourned. Thank you, Brian. You're welcome. Thank you for the drink. Okay, and I can assign these, assign these, right? Yes, we can. Okay. <laughs>